borders. So you're finished with your edit and it's missing something. So you want to add borders, which is a great idea because borders are just fun, but you don't want to do basic black and white borders because although they're still cool, we've seen it a bunch of different times and it's kind of boring, but that's fine because today I'm going to be showing you different types of borders that you can do for your edits. These are the borders I did for my birthday edit and I love them so much. I honestly don't know why I haven't used them sooner. Go to layer new solid and then just get a basic black solid. It doesn't have to be a specific color. You're gonna look up CC jaws and add that to your solid. We're gonna make the height zero. And I know this is looking like basic borders already, but we're gonna change it, I promise. So I'm gonna make the completion about 86. And these are basic borders, but we want to change them. So make the direction 90, and then we are going to look up S underscore gradient. You will need the Sapphire plugin. Add that to the borders, and oh my God, they changed color. Okay, so after you grab S gradient, we're gonna do the start color you can make it whatever color you want actually but I'm going to I don't know I guess I'll play around with the color play around with the start and end color they don't really fit this edit because it's really bright but um they are very cute now we're gonna do these type of borders I haven't really done these before I think they kind of look ugly on my edits so I've never done it before and I probably never will I don't want to say that because I might one day but I don't plan to right now. So go to layer new and we're gonna get a solid. I'm gonna make this solid white, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't really matter. Then I'm gonna put the solid underneath our pre-composed edit. Why did I change accents for a second? So after that, we're gonna look up S gradient again and add that to the solid. I'm gonna change it to the colors we want. Um, you'll have to edit that later because you can't see it. You probably should have done this very last, but anyways. So now we're going to check out Roughen Edges. Add that to your clip and then click S to pull up scale. And I'm going to scale this back to 98. All right, I'm going to have to put this on full for you guys to see what's going on. If my laptop allows it, I'm going to make the borders 150. Um, if you like it like this, then you can keep it. So edge sharpness, I think I made this too. Scale between 100 and 301. It just depends on what style you want to go for. And then speaking of that, now I'm going to show you round borders. So I kept the background we just used for the other borders because we're kind of going to need it. So still having our pre-composed edit we're gonna go to the mask tool and click q until you get this rounded rectangle then you're gonna double click on the circle itself now you're gonna scale that back to wherever you want you can scale it in between 95 and 98. trust me these look cuter on you know the actual apps like instagram and tiktok um so yeah and remember that you don't always have to use s gradient you can use literally a solid color so now this isn't really a border but i do think it kind of counts as a border and i'm just going to show you anyway so look up this effect i'm not even going to try to pronounce it add it to your clip so it's a bit too in, you know, so we're going to mess with the radius and pull it back. And then I'm going to just change the color. I also did this in my birthday edit, but it was on a clip specifically. And I just think it adds something to it, you know, but I'm going to show you mirror edge borders. I did this for this edit. It's my most recent edit on Instagram. So if you want to go check it out with the sound, I would appreciate that. So to start, we're going to duplicate these two clips. After you duplicate, you're going to go to the bottom layer here and click S to pull up scale. Then I'm gonna scale it to 130 and move the second one above. So now it's the first one. See, so it should be a little bit zoomed in if it's on top of the correct clip. Now we're gonna select CC jaws, adjust the direction to 90 again, make sure the height is zero, and then I'm just gonna start pulling in. Now this is completely optional. You don't have to do this, but I think it kind of matters. So select the 3D icon and make the X rotation to 180. It's just gonna spin it around like this. And if you want to, you can also make the Y rotation 180, but um, I don't really like that. I just do the X rotation. <laughs> so there's one more option I have for you that you can use for borders. We're gonna go to layer, new, and get a solid and you can make it whatever color you want let's do a dark blue you're gonna want to do command d to duplicate the solid so we have two and i'm gonna click this i button because we're gonna need to see what we're doing for, for the first solid highlight both of your clips and add cc draws focus on this one so make the height zero as usual and then make the completion 98 now you see these like 
circles so you, circles <laughs> you see these squares i wish there was a more efficient way to do this because i kind of feel like this is not measured correctly but anyways we're gonna be messing with these to kind of bring it a little bit low if you don't have these squares around your clip for some reason you can just click s and then click the chain right here and mess with this portion so place it to where you want i'll place it here and then we're going to turn the eye back on for the top and it's all blue again right because we have to do things so turn the height to zero and then the completion we are just gonna kind of eyeball this because kind of need it to be close to this and yeah these are cute borders as well once again haven't really used it not my favorite but just not for my style Alrighty, guys that's all i have to show you with different types of borders to use i hope that this video was helpful and resourceful good luck on whatever edit you're working on definitely think that borders are a good way to go if you feel like your edit's missing something just add borders and they're really cute i highly suggest using s gradient borders like we did today because I don't know, they give like a whole cutesy vibe. I love it. Starting next week, I'm gonna be posting two to three times a week, hopefully. So if you have any tutorials, please request them. Okay, I love you, bye.